Now for the last part of this question, we've got to find the time when the particle is instantaneously at rest. So to do this, all we've got to do is set v equal to zero. So that's our starting point then, that when v equals zero, we know that zero must equal t to the power of four minus six t squared plus eight. Now this is a quadratic equation in t squared, so I would have thought that it should factorize, so I'm taking a guess that we have a couple of brackets here, t squared, t squared in the front. Uh, looking at this, it's got to be a minus four and a minus two. Yeah, that checks out, it gives us this when expanded. So in the usual way, each of these factors should equal zero. So we've got t squared minus four must equal zero, or the other factor, t squared minus two must equal zero. So t squared equals four, or t squared must equal two. And normally when you take the square root of some value, it will be plus or minus. But because t has obviously got to be greater than or equal to zero, then if we take the square root of these, we've got t equals two, or in this case, t equals root two. So that's when the particle comes to instantaneous rest. All right.